This is part two of the two wig review. I wanted to put them both in different uh, videos because I think that both wigs, uh, Carissa and this one that I'm about to talk about deserve their own spotlight. Do not adjust your screen because yes, hunty, you are having a give it to me shaka Khan purple moment right here. This wig is everything. All right, so let's get started because I'm really, really excited about this wig and I have so much to say and I don't want to bore your patience. All right, so this is her straight up out of the pack. No alteration, no sheen, no brushing, no nothing. And I want to show you the parting space. That's a parting space that it came with. I've done nothing to that parting space. It is great. You probably only just need to add your powder or your concealer to it to make it match your skin. So once again, free trust equal got that right. Here is the stock card because I'm so excited I'm getting ahead of myself. But this is Katron and I have her in OT purple. She comes in a ton of other colors as does Carissa and I actually have her in a typical for me brown and blonde mixture that I'll be reviewing at another time but since I was on purple I wanted to go ahead and do this right now this is a big hair do not care moment okay if you don't like big hair do not get this wig and when you get her be very careful because the more you play with her the bigger she gets but she is giving me life. She's giving me stage. She's giving me presence. She's just giving me I'm in the room, boo. And that's what I actually love about this wig because if you couldn't tell, I'm a little bit on the dramatic side. Uh, so let's talk about the specs on this wig. The cap circumference is pretty typical. It's a big head friendly wig, which is a good thing. Uh, however, if you do have a big head, you're going to want to shave her down because I have a little tiny head and you see how wide she is on me. Uh, you do get the two combs, the comb in the back and the adjustable straps. So once again, Free Tress is giving us a great amount of wig security. I always take mine down. I love her because she's not limited to a side part. I just happen to like this on the side, but you can move her to the middle or to either side, which is another plus because then you can customize her and make her your own. I also like the fact that the combs are on either side of the part. So you can actually cut the part and wear it as a clip-in unit. At least mine came that way because as I saw with Petal Blossom, sometimes manufacturing switches up. So if yours don't come that way, don't blame me, blame Free Dress. Anyway, um, I, I do like the fact that you can actually adjust this any way you want. My prediction says this is going to be a highly sought after, very popular wig. And you might be looking at your screen like, are you serious? You are wearing big, wide, curly, purple hair. You look like a grape on a stick. Well, um, I have already seen people buying this wig and adjusting this wig uh, to make it fit. I saw somebody who cut it into a short bob. She's so affordable. You could buy this wig a few times and give her a lot of different life. This curl is very unique. It's not a super tight curl. The hair is very, very soft and very light. So even though she looks like I should be sweating up a storm, I promise it is very light and airy. It's not heavy on my head. Um, it's because it is so thick that, you know, it looks like, oof. I don't know if I can handle that, but trust me, if you get this wig, there's a lot of aeration. It feels really good and it's not too much. Um, it's, it's a nice amount of density, even in the top, which is great because I hate for tracks to show. So between Carissa and Katron, I think they got the density exactly right. You will be comfortable wearing this wig. She is sort of long. As you can see, she comes right underneath, uh, almost right to... Uh, line up with my belly button mid waist. So that's a pretty long wig. You're going to get about 20 inches. Um, for some, you might not like that. Some people might look at this and say, oh girl, that's real mermaid. I don't know. That's ugly. Well, again, like I said, this is fresh out of the box. This is a blank canvas. You can do whatever you want to do with this wig and make it hot. 
I do not really like the length. I think it gives me great body in here and then sort of falls flat at the bottom. So I'm probably going to cut some inches off just to shape her a little more around my face and rock her as a big sort of curly uh, afro, but not, you know, not much bigger than she is. But I did not want to manipulate her because I wanted you to see the full fabulosity of this wig. Um... What else can I say about her? I did not wear her out yet, so I can't tell you if it tangles up, but the softness of the texture kind of is an indicator that it doesn't. And I had absolutely no shedding, very, very minimal when I cut off the lace, which is to be expected. So that's another plus in my book. Now this is a diva wig and like I said I think that you're gonna see this as one of the hottest wigs on the market if I'm wrong whatever but uh, following the trends and just kind of looking at what has been happening over the years when you get a wig like this that you can customize any way you want it tends to fly off the shelves and again I have her in this OT purple color now if you just looked at the review that I did on Carissa in the haze purple you're probably wondering what is the real difference truth be told I'm kind of wondering the same thing because I don't really see it I think this might be just a teeny bit more magenta and that has more black undertones but honestly I think both colors are pretty pretty close so, you know, if you get her in OT purple or if they have a dark purple option, I didn't look at that. Um, no, they only have an OT purple option. So, you know, if you get her, she's really not, she's not as magenta as the OT purple McKenzie wig. Um, you know, I'm trying to get closer so the light can sort of catch the color. She is and she isn't. And so, you know, again, it, it's going to be how you perceive it uh, in your own view. To me, I think the McKenzie OT Purple is definitely a lot louder, a lot brighter, definitely more pink, and this is giving me a little more black undertone, uh, which is really, really cool because I was a little bit worried. The, the wig is already big, and then you add to that that it's purple. You know, you just don't want to be walking around looking like Barney. Um, as you can see, the, the width begins sort of, you know, just after the crown and so I probably will go in with the razor and just add some shorter layers just because I like a, a more rounded shapely look as opposed to you know the way that it is naturally but again I didn't want to manipulate it I wanted you to see it as is so I apologize if I'm standing here again looking like Barney but I wanted you to just see you know just get it in its full glory I just think it is a fabulous wig that you can do a lot too also you know you could put this in a ponytail if you can work make it work you know if you leave some of your hair out around your edges and your forehead you could actually make it work and put it in a ponytail pull it back you know you can do a lot with it as I said or leave it as is if you're not ashamed if you're bold you know it's hair you want to play with you want to dance I mean it really is you know kind of a shocker kind moment most, if they leave it like this or wear it big, are probably going to wear it going out. Um, not so much on a daily basis, but then if you're like me, you might. So having said all that, is the wig hot or not? Because it is such a blank canvas, I'm going to say it is definitely hot. And I have a feeling you're going to see a lot of people rocking this wig and actually a lot of tutorials on how to restyle this wig because it lends itself to that. So... You tell us what you think. As always, leave us some love. I'm going to put all the information at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for sticking with me through these two reviews. And don't keep us a secret. Share us with a friend. As always, if you like us, please subscribe. If there's a wig you'd like for us to try, leave us some love. And we will definitely look into that for you. So until next time, she's going to be purple. Uh, we're going to come back with not a purple wig. Have a good day, guys.